Picture this. Your buddy hits you up and tells you there's a match happening in a month. It's a national championship. It's only a few hours away, but you've never shot that format before. What do you do? Well, if you're like me, you just borrow gear and wing it. And that's exactly what I did for the USPSA Two Gun Nationals. And I'm going to show you all the gear that I had to put to get borrow and put together to uh, to shoot that match. <laughs> Now the match is in its second year and it consists of a PCC and a pistol and it's run under multi-gun scoring, which is pretty cool. Now the reason that it's cool is because it opens up your gear to minor scoring pistols like we use in three gun. This is a nine millimeter. Doesn't make major power factor. Ordinarily it wouldn't be competitive, but because of multi-gun scoring, one in the A or two anywhere to neutralize the target. It is. There's only two divisions that's limited and open, and that's based on the configuration of your pistol. Uh, now, PCC obviously is part of the game, but that is um, the PCCs run under PCC rules. So it's pretty much open. You can have multiple optics on it and stuff like that. There's a couple little nuances. Obviously, read the rule book. We're not going to be going over the rules here. So knowing all that, I went ahead and signed up for limited division using the gear that I already have. For pistol, I use my trusty... DVC three gun. The only thing that I've changed to this is it does have a limb cap magazine well. And actually, let's pause and I'll show you why that's cool. Sloppy reload. Limb cat slams it in there. So off. <laughs> Isn't that kind of cool? So generous magazine well. If you suck like I do at sticking the reload, that'll help you out. Anyway, definitely not sponsored by Limcat, just thought that's a cool thing. So belt gear consisted of my trusty Safari Land belt. Uh, it does have all the ELS attachments. I did add this sweet buckle on the back here, which it's time to, I guess, fix the zip ties, but I do have another belt, so, so I'm gonna be changing this out shortly here. This is my normal three gun belt. Um, holster, LEG tactical holster does have the hood that we use in three gun so unfortunately i had to have that up for all starts which is kind of a pain in the butt magazine pouches the mcs magazine pouches for my 2011 from leg tactical and they just fit on the uh, els clips it did have some glock magazine pouches from when i shot a glock in three gun and so i just tilted this one to the side and then you can have that reload stick across the front of you like this for your PCC. Of course, I've got my inner belt, got my ear pro, isotune sport calibers. Brought some other isotunes just in case it was loud there. It was not. Did have knee pads, lube, extra batteries, things like that. Got this cool patch from Two Good Nationals, which is kind of cool. And then I always bring some magnets with me. Did bring some extra batteries for the UH one, but stashed those in the group right there. I brought five magazines, really ended up only using, I guess, maximum of two, maybe three for a stage, but it was good to have more. That's all the stuff that I had. So basically had to fish out a PCC because I don't have one that's like competition specific. So I borrowed this JP PCC from a friend. Uh, this is a 14 and a half, does have pin and welded comp, which is kind of cool. So it's shorty, but it does have the full length handguard, which is kind of cool. Um, if I were to get this configuration myself, I'd probably get the one just a little bit shorter, lop off that extra couple of inches and make it a little bit lighter. Um, did run super reliable. Um, I went ahead and put this uh, Magpul stock on here. I think this is an STR just because I'm used to using it. This Razor Red Dot was already on it. Came with a Spitfire. I did put this uh, UH-1 Gen 2 on top, which I am freaking in love with. I've had the Gen 1 for quite a while, and I swapped that amongst many different guns for many different purposes, and I've shot that for uh, years and tons of different matches, a lot of AK matches. Um, so I got the Gen 2 now. It is apparently lighter, does have more relief cuts, looks cool as hell, and uh, works just as well, which is kind of nice. This guy does have an Ambi safety selector on it. He gave us this at the match, which is kind of cool. 
you have to have an empty chamber indicator for your PCC and USPSA. And then it does have this Magwell. I'm not sure who makes it, but it's 3D printed and it's uh, it's kind of kind of squishy. So for magazines, <clears throat> so he had this 57 round MBX mag. So obviously it's on the Glock 33 and then it adds the extension and does go to 57 rounds. Not knowing, <laughs> not being used to shooting a PCC or dumping a PCC or practicing that, I actually dumped it really hard and broke the magazine. That was my bad. And then I borrowed this magazine from another shooter there. Uh, <laughs> That was a 47, and uh, then I did the exact same thing to that one too. First stage of the day, apparently PCCs do not like to be dumped. So, <laughs> so unfortunately, uh, I, I tried to fix this one, and I just put it right back on, but then it became a, a salt shaker. So look at that, damage the base where the uh, extension attaches. So basically I destroyed two magazines, which is super bummer, but I have these two magazines. And so I'm going to put these extensions on those magazines and then return them to the owners and then uh, I'll deal with the broken ones. I did use primarily this one, just kind of reloaded it um, until I broke it. And then I primarily use this one and just reloaded it until I broke it. And then from there, I didn't, didn't realize I had that um didn't realize i had that <laughs> but uh but i used this one then primarily and then that's when i had to do the i think I, the one magazine change and then this one just kind of rode with me on my belt uh for in cases um just in case i needed a uh a reload or something and this thing maglula ordinarily when like I, when I used to shoot Glocks, I would see people with Magalulas, and I think like, ah, oh, you don't need that. Just use your thumbs. It's not that big of a deal. But when you're loading 57 rounds in a magazine, and these springs get to be like pretty big spring tension, it's kind of nice. I think I did pretty well with all the gear that I had, especially with the with not owning a PCC and then training up with it. Um, if I had it to do again, I would have done way more training. Maybe I would buy a PCC. Um, it was a really fun match. I really enjoyed the format and I'd like to shoot it again. So maybe a, buying a PCC is in my future. I don't know if I'd change anything about my gear. Actually, you know, these, these magazines were kind of a pain that they broke. I guess um, they're fine when you shoot normal PCC matches, but then when you have to dump them in a trash can, if you're, <laughs> if you're not careful like me, you end up breaking them off because I just dumped it like I normally dump my AR. I guess going with the Magpul D50 would be a good solution for that. And those seem to run really well. A couple, couple guys in our squad had them. I would definitely get those and use those next time. Things that I did well, one, I borrowed a really good PCC and so I didn't have to worry about that. And then two, I watched a bunch of uh, match footage from last year's Two Gun Nationals, which was also a PCC uh, pistol. So I knew what the match would look like. If you think you might wanna shoot Two Gun Nationals in the future, I did put together this playlist of the walkthrough and the stages, and you can watch that right here. Highly recommend it.